forget to like and subscribe. Hey guys, Emki here, and once again, we are back with a modded Stardew Valley episode. Last we left off, I couldn't get my freaking axe. Now we're left off with I can go get my freaking axe. Dear Emki, I just wanted to remind you that Stardew Valley Fair is happening tomorrow. Don't forget to bring your nine items for the Grange display. Remember the fair starts at 9am in the town square. See you there, Mayor Lewis. I don't know why I read him like that. <laughs> I have no idea why I just read him like that. It's like, oh, you know what? I've been watching um, True Facts, which if you don't know what it is, it's this guy who literally tries to sound... Like, oh god, oh god, oh god. Morgan Freeman! His name is Morgan Freeman. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot, <laughs> forgot Morgan Freeman. What's wrong with me? Anyways, so the guy tries to sound kind of like Morgan Freeman. But he says things and like gives like documentation and stuff on animals in this very silly, goofy way. So he'll be like, the land pig. And stuff like that. It's amazing. So like, if you ever want to watch something that's highly entertaining and kind of has like grains of truth in it, go watch True Facts or Casual Geographic, either one of those. Both of them are amazing and I love both of the dudes that do that. Like, I was absolutely a kid that like grew up watching Animal Planet and adored every second of it. Like, oh my God. So like knowing that those guys are out there making the videos that they do actually gives me life. So, <laughs> yes. So like literally I I enjoy I enjoy learning more about the animals that they talk about. I like learning about like how people have different comedic effects. Like Casual Geographic, I don't know how this guy is able to do it, but he's able to like shoot off like 20 different jokes in the span of 10 seconds to the point where I have to rewind what he says sometimes just so I can hear all of the jokes. I'm not even like kidding you. It's amazing. <laughs> Like, I love the guy. He also has a very big uh, concern when it comes to chimps, which is understandable with the amount of knowledge he seems to have on them. Chimps are scary. Like, <laughs> this guy's like, yeah, by the way, did you know? And you're just like, no, I did not. And I didn't think I needed to know, but now I know. And now you guys know. And hopefully everyone will know that chimps are scary. They're horrifying. <laughs> um, granted, they're a wild animal, so like always have respect towards wild animals like i'm working at a um animal rehab center uh for you guessed it wild animals and so um it's kind of weird uh how do i say it nicely it is weird the unspoken expectation from some people um on like that you should be able to handle the wild animals however you would a pet. Like, I, I find it a very strange expectation because it's a wild animal, you're just trying to rehab them. And yet, people have had to be told not to do that. And it's very strange to me. Cause like, to me, when I was like, you know, going through the orientation stuff, cause it's recent, like I've just like started, you know, helping out here and there. Um, it was weird during the orientation having to hear, don't touch and provoke the animals. Like, unless you're helping them, you know, giving medication, giving them food, cleaning the cages, like you can't treat them like a pet. And to me, it's like, no, duh. Like, but also how many people have gone into it expecting the, the ability to treat animals like that, that are supposed to be wild and stay wild and so on and so forth. It's kind of mind blowing. I don't know. Um, it's a really fun experience, honestly. Like literally most of the time it's like, you know, you just, you clean in their cages, you're giving them food. Like if it's a baby animal, you make, they make sure they go to the bathroom because bad stuff can happen otherwise. Like pretty simple so far. They've got a storefront. I help clean up the storefront. It's pretty fun. Uh, what is I doing? What is I doing? Gold bars. Gold bars. Do I have gold bars? Wait a minute. I thought I did. I do. Okay. Give me that. Um, but yeah, it's one of those strange things of, I never fully clicked that people would want to go to like a rehab center and like, you know, 
be able to touch the animals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, crap. Uh, eight. Nine, I guess. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Um, but, like, it never clicked with me that people would go and expect to be able to, like, I don't know, play with them? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just the experience I'm having, but, like, you don't do that from so far. Granted, like, all the stuff I've read says you don't do that either, but yeah, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, like, I don't know. It's kind of like a... Why... Why go in expecting something that isn't said at all? Like, because, like, when I went in, it was, yeah, you're probably going to be cleaning cages. And I was like, all right, cleaning cages. And then it's like, all right, yeah, you're not going to be able to, like, take pictures of the animals because that'll stress them out. I'm like, okay, yeah, that makes sense because they're wild animals. Like, I don't know. The lack of understanding can be baffling when it comes to people. Like, how do I... I'm trying to figure out the words I'm looking for. <sighs> Thanks, I'll get started on that as soon as I can. Should be ready in a couple of days. Thank you, Clint, you're amazing. Uh, I guess, okay, how do I phrase it? Like, to me, it's a no brainer that wild animals need to be treated with respect and they are not pets, period. Like, they're not pets. They can be downright adorable. They can seem like puppies, but they're not pets. They can bite off your finger. They can, like, maul your face. They can, like, do some damage if they are afraid and feel threatened. To me, that's a no-brainer. Like, don't test. Don't test fate. Like, and so, like, it... I, I get... I guess I'm just surprised by some of the stories that I constantly hear of people not being responsible. People treating it like it's, like... You know, here's an example. People climbing over zoo fences to take selfies with wild animals that are in captivity. Because that is what a lion is, is a wild animal in captivity. Like, <laughs> it's in captivity. It is still a wild animal. It has not been taught, like, you know, like, maybe it's been taught tricks. I don't know. But I would assume, no, you do not want to go and jump in there with a wild animal that is in captivity. Like, to me, that makes sense because I don't want to get my face ripped off. I'm not going to assume that just because they're used to it, a zookeeper, like, that they won't think I would be dinner. Like, I don't... Maybe it's because, you know what, maybe, maybe, hey, maybe it's a me problem. Maybe I'm the one that's weird. Like, because, like, to me, it makes sense. Don't touch tigers or lions or bears. You don't do that. You don't mess with wolves. You don't, <laughs> you don't provoke coyotes. You do not attack a squirrel. Like, you don't, you don't. You just don't. You could maybe, like, feed a squirrel some, like, nuts or something. But then you're gonna get a squirrel expecting you to give them food every day. They could be territorial, but like, I don't know. Maybe I'm, am I too like overly cautious? Is that what's going on here? But anyways, it's just a, it's a mind boggling thing for me personally. And like, maybe like there are those of you out there listening and they're like, yeah, but like, why wouldn't you assume that stuff? Why wouldn't you care? Why wouldn't you, you know, want to pet the animals? And, oh, I do. I have genuine human curiosity, just like the rest of you guys. But I also know I like my fingers and I like my face not mauled. So like, it's really a no brainer to me. Um, <laughs> but eh, I don't know. Oh, you know, maybe it's like one of those could be that people get comfortable. Like maybe, maybe the people climbing over fences in zoos, like maybe they used to work at the zoos and that's just something they used to do and they got too comfortable or like maybe they just assume like, oh, it's not me that's gonna have this problem. Like, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think goes through like the brains, like through people's heads sometimes. Cause like, to me, it's like, I think, oh, I would never, but like everybody thinks, oh, I would never, except for the people that have done it. So it's like, what could have been the thought process there? Like, oh, I'll get a cool picture. Hopefully the, the animal won't be like freaked out or like, you know, like, oh, I've been to this forest like 30 million times. I've walked the same trail. It's fine if there's bears because I know they won't bother. Like, what is, is it people getting too comfortable? I wonder, like, yeah, sorry if I sound a little judgy, like probably do. That's fine. Like, 
I just, I like to know what people think. And so for me, it's like a, I don't know. Like, I don't know how the brain can get to a certain conclusion like that. Like, you know, it, like 404 does not compute. Uh, like, you know, brain thought not found. Uh, but I don't know. But it's really fun uh, working with animals and at the shelter. They're very interesting to watch the behavior of. Um, I get to work with mice as well. Those are domesticated, thankfully. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's kind of nice being able to work with mice again. I used to, in the past, work with rats and rodents. And no, it wasn't experimentation. It was just caring. Um, and so it's nice being able to actually work with rodents again and watch their behaviors. Because, like, I don't know. If you ever get the chance to actually, like, study and learn mice behavior or rats. Oh, it's so interesting. Uh, it's really cool. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh my god, look at me. I'm just chopping down stuff, chattering at you guys. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Like, you hear all these scary stories of, like, people, like, not respecting nature the way they should be. Or they're getting too comfortable. And to me, like, I don't know. I don't... I hope that I never get to the point where I become too comfortable with a wild animal. Because, again... That's a that's a that's a wild ass animal. Like I don't want to mess with a beaver. Like what makes you think I want to mess with a beaver? Have any of you played Ark? Stuff's crazy. Oh, I am. Yeah, absolutely. That was Morgan. They were asking me if I was chattering to you guys about the wildlife rehab stuff I'm doing. <laughs> yes, yes, I am, guys. Um, but yeah, like. Have you guys ever played Ark? That game's crazy. Like, you walk two steps, you die. To me, it's like, it's the same thing in nature. You might not be mauled by a velociraptor, but you sure can drink some wrong water and die today. Like, come on now. Like, I don't know. I find wildlife and like, what is it called? Bushcraft? I love learning about the habits of wild animals. I love learning how to survive in the wild. I like to learn just like, you know, yeah, if you're in the uh, the wilderness of Canada, Canada, uh, and yes, I know I pronounced it wrong. That's just what me and my Canadian roommate do. In case you're like, oh, she's just being an American. Listen, I heard it pronounced that way by my Canadian friend. Anyways, um, <laughs> but like, um, oh, let's see. It's just like one of those things of like. I like to learn, like, if I got stranded in the wilderness, like, what are the things you look for? Not because I think, oh, I'm totally gonna get stranded in the wilderness. I live in the suburbs. It's probably never gonna happen, okay? Like, but it's nice to, like, I don't know. It's curious. I'm very curious about it. I love learning about this stuff. Uh, da 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 da. Haha! No! I didn't mean to do that. Give me that! <laughs> All right. Put this away, that away, that away. Nope. Give me that back. Put those away. Put that away. And put this down. Yes. Um, let's see. I guess go to sleep for the night. And then festival tomorrow? Festival tomorrow. Festival tomorrow. Yeah. Festival tomorrow. It's happening. Ooh, blueberries. Okay, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, wait. Nine. There we go! Oh, my gosh. Uh, I guess I'll leave the animals alone for now. <gasps> the cat! The cat hasn't been watered. Oh, my God. How could I do this to myself? I ignored poor Zimzy. <coughs> Zimzy's a wild animal. She'll cut somebody. I swear. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. You know what would be hilarious? Let me know if you want me to do something like this. Where I just go through like a neighborhood. And I'm just like. And this here is a wild squirrel. Just like Steve Irwinning like my entire neighborhood. It's like a terrible accent that nobody can like figure out where it's from. They're just like what? What kind of English is she speaking? Like. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I think that'd be fun. Um, just be like, all right. Like we have like 20 wild cats in our neighborhood. Feral cats, sorry. Feral cats. 
there's a difference. Uh, da -da -da -da. place a lot in there, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry about these sirens you hear in the background. Uh, seven? Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I can count. Thank God. All right, pet the chickens. 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 Milk the cows and pet the cows. Pet the cow, pet the cow, pet the cow, pet the cow. Boof. There we go. Boop. But yeah. Oh, you know what? Actually, I was over here feeling a little bit like awkward because I'm like, oh man, I just gushed about animals. But no, I told you from the get go. I love random animal facts. And you know what? You can think I'm a weirdo all you want. You're still here watching my video, so eh got them so they're like all right yeah but i can x out and i'm like yeah no 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 no, but don't do that <laughs> oh today's festival is going to happen blah 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 come back later fine i'll chop down trees in the meantime i guess oh my god so much trees so many trees still oh my god get out of here okay let's go down here maybe oh my god there's so many <laughs> Like, I feel like I barely get anywhere. Chop, 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 chop. Also, for those of you that are nerds like me, have you guys watched, like, any Demon Slayer? Because, like, I have just now sat down and started watching the series because I finally had enough time to. Did you know that it's just good? Like... <laughs> You watch anime sometimes. Sometimes, like, I will watch anime just for the pure amount of cheesiness that they will unleash upon the world, right? That is me. I'll watch it. Surely because it's cheesy. Like, God, what's a really cheesy one for me? Yu Yu Hakusho. My God. The amount of cheese that that show has is redonkulous. But I still watch it because I like it. Like, <laughs> it's so cheesy because it's old. And it's so good. Mm, fair started fine but like you just do you just ever just it's just good like i watched um <sighs> it's like the arc with okay so i've watched up until this point the rec most recent arc i'm trying not to give spoilers in case you guys care you know what? Here's how we'll do it. Hey guys, if you don't want to hear about di like, you know, any kind of spoilers, you might want to skip for a bit or maybe close out of this episode. So like, listen, there's this one season, right? Where like, they're in the pleasure district, right? And already that's a little bit shifty. And you're like, uh, hmm, all right, that's kind of weird. So, uh, da -da 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 no, don't do anything. <laughs> okay. Like, you just, you kind of like, you sit down. Hang on. Uh, Put that in there. Put that in there. Grab this. Put that away. Ugh. Okay. Like, it's called a Pleasure District arc. And basically, it's like, he... The main character, he ends up, like, with his three friends getting, like, carried off to be pretend prostitutes basically but apparently in japan that's not like a shameful job that's a very prideful job like i'm so beautiful people will pay me to sleep with me sort of thing like that's already kind of cool um <laughs> but then you gotta deal with like you know he goes there to help find like i don't know hang on trade enterprises how much money for stop i'm trying to that's a lot okay da -da 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 -da. um don't I buy tickets or something? I can't remember. How do I do this? Uh-oh. I might not be able to do this this year. I didn't think before I spent money! Ah! Oh, well. But basically, in the entire thing, he's trying to help this guy find his wives. Because he's polyamorous and is married to three women. And, like, I don't know why, but they're like, oh, yeah, he's a shinobi. That's why. And I'm like, all right, did ninjas, you know, get some? Like, anyways, that's not the point. The antagonists, plural, for this arc are so good. My God. 
I've never wanted to smack a beautiful lady in the face as much as I did for that entire arc. And this is cartoon characters we're talking about. These are drawn, voice acted characters that I'm like, I want to smack you. Like, can I come through the screen? Because like, basically, she's this mean, like, catty lady who's like the, the most beautiful, like, uh, woman. I don't know their proper terms. It starts with an O. But basically, it's like they have, you know, houses, pleasure houses, where um, there are women by rank. And so the highest ranking is the most honorable, the most desirable. She gets like a lot more like perks and stuff. She brings in more revenue and so on. Like, so the one of the main antagonists, which I didn't even know there was a second one until she oppos supposedly died. Like, you, you think she's dead. She's not. Like, um, and so basically what ends up happening is like, she's this rude, mean, cruel, awful woman that like, you you hate her and like, she's gorgeous. And you're like, I hate you. <laughs> like, and so I'm watching this entire show and I'm like, oh yeah. All right, cool. She got decapitated. Best day ever. And then she doesn't die. And you're like, ha ha, what? Like, you're like, excuse me. Hold on a moment. Yeah, no, I'm not going to be able to do this one. That's fine. Um, play. I'll just keep going until I run out of gold. It's fine. Um, but basically what ends up happening is that she gets decapitated. Like in Demon Slayer, when a demon gets decapitated, they die. Like that's it. Period. End of story. Bad guy gone. Good guys win. whoop de flip and do This is like, I think the first time that the good guys like actively were able to do this without casualties, if I remember. Or, like, with minimal casualties. Because, you know, it's Demon Slayer. And apparently they like to rip out your soul. As well as your tear ducts. And just stomp on them a little bit. And I got this way over cartoon characters. Cartoon characters. It's as bad as Tokyo Ghoul. Like, and so, like, I'm over here, like, watching this with bated breath. Because I'm like, what the heck is happening here? Why is she, like... You know, she had like a complete personality change. She went from being this like cruel, monstrous, awful, I know what I'm doing, cold calculated lady to being a whiny baby that's crying because someone's being mean to her. And like demons are supposedly like centuries old. They're very old, like, you know? So this old grandma goes from being this confident, ha ha ha, I'm going to kill you, to wah, wah, he's being mean to me. And now I'm over here like, who the heck do you expect to come and save you? And the second I had that thought, guess what? Somebody came to save her. And it was the other antagonist. And can I just say, freaking amazing. I love that character. Yu Yuyo? I, can't, I can never pronounce the names. He's like, I loved the character design. I loved his powers. I loved his weapon. I loved the way he spoke. Cause he spoke in like a, yeah, man, like you gotta protect your sister. I can't understand why you guys are so freaking stupid. Like that's how he spoke. And he's like this, like very, like he looks emaciated and creepy and muscular. His spine is showing creepy and deformed kind of just so good. Like whoever designed that character must have gotten like a raise, a better job, took over the company, maybe taken over the world. I don't care. It was just so good. I kind of wish he hadn't talked so much. I kind of wish he had done more battling. Like, come on now. I wish they had done like a full Bleach style battle, honestly. Like, oh God, I'm talking too much. I'm gushing. No, that's ah, fine. Um, but I, I literally, I fell in love with his character. He was so good. He was so cool. Like when he got defeated, like you get to see more of why he became a demon because in most of like the things it's like a upper rank demon or just a demon chooses to give him a human blood and like the the god demon leader of demons i don't know like accepts them into the demon populace sort of thing so you see how he gets offered that you see how his sister because she is his sister which i was a little confused because like she went by a different name than what he called her um but i think it was just aliases whatever 
you find out that like you know he was a poor kid he was born ugly and so from what i understand they just like they were like yeah he has like a skin deformity or something and that's why like you know people in the pleasure district which apparently they only care about like appearance and like because appearance equates status there apparently at least in the show um like it was cool <laughs> because you find out like this dude all of his life and he was 13 when this stuff happened to him all of his life he's been beaten had rocks thrown at him he's like been made fun of he's been tormented because of his appearance right and you're like oh that's so sad and you find out that like the reason he felt like his life was getting better was because of the birth of his baby sister it killed his mom but he got his sister he didn't care she was beautiful he loved her i think he spoiled her rotten which led to the the situation that got them to become demons in the first place because basically what happened was somebody wanted to sleep with a 12 year old 13 year old and she was like nah i'm gonna stab you in the eye now and stabbed him in the eye and then they killed her like or tried to uh, i'm not gonna get too graphic but it's very sad Basically, the um, the entire reason that he felt like his life was going on the up and up is because he had this beautiful sister. He was proud that she was his sister. Like, he didn't care about what he looked like. He was just so proud and, like, happy about her. It was adorable. But, like, my heart kind of broke when she died because, like, he kind of broke when she died. And I'm like, aw, he's, like, 15. Like, freaking 13 of 15 was his age. And it's, like, that's so sad. But what's, what ends up happening is, like, he takes his sister who is now almost deceased you know and he like walks down this snowy sidewalk and it's so picturesque because it's an anime and that's literally what they do is they make it so picturesque when it's so sad and you're just like oh and so you find out that the reason that he and his sister turned into demons is because she was literally about to die and a demon's like huh i wonder if you guys would be stronger than me want some blood and he was like yeah sure and so like how can it be so good it's just so good like i watched that arc and i was like oh my god this is amazing like i literally was like watching over my partner's shoulder and i was like what is going oh my god so now i'm just gushing to you about demon slayer sorry guys for those of you that don't know the anime is called demon slayer slog through until he actually gets trained it's kind of a bore until then i'm sorry for the diehard fans it's a bit of a bore until he starts getting trained i'm sorry like you can be mad all you want it's still the truth Ah, <laughs> oh, my god but it was so good. Okay, I think I have one more attempt over here after this, and that's fine. But, like, just, I wanted more of that. Like, I wonder if there's, like, a manga or a book. Because, like, some animes, I think, are uh, styled after books and stuff. Can you not be so difficult while I'm trying to chatter to my people? My god. This fish here. The audacity. My god. But basically, um... I wonder if there's a book because like I wouldn't mind reading more on their backstory or like how they were as demons like like obviously the way it was explained was like his sister was his world sort of thing and like I hope there's nothing creepy going on there I would like it to just be a sibling relationship instead of like what the internet does um but like I would like to know more like how did she react when she turned into a demon? Like, was she scared? Was she like, yeah, cool, I'm powerful now? Was she like, follow my lead? Or did he say, hey, you should go and do this? Like, did they meet the demon king besides the one time you see them meeting him? Like, what happened there? I am so curious about this guy. Like, and his sister. Like, why did she turn into such a spoiled brat? Was it really because she was pretty or was it because she was overly powerful and no one could defeat her? Like what's going on you know like ah ah and then and then when in his final moments he like pictured her as a how she would have been as a human and he kind of regretted what he did to her and dragged her into like this life of horrific like crimes and death and stuff but it's just a really really good series like ah i haven't gushed about an anime in literal years because like no perfection bonus. Oh, life is so saved. That's fine. But 
like play. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, I could always do the betting thing. I'm terrible at the betting thing. Do you guys want to see me lose at the betting thing? Sure, why not? Let's try it. But it's just like, ah, oh man, I haven't gushed like so much about an anime since when I was younger and watched Naruto Shippuden and loved that. Like, it's a bit too cheesy for me to, to a point, but it's still a classic and I love it. Like, ah, such a good series. My God. Doot doot. No! Stop it. You're being difficult. Ugh. No! There you go. There we go. I love when you can just kind of let go of the controller. Like, ah, yes, here we are. Beautiful. Like, I felt more for that demon dying than I did for the fire guy that died earlier in the series. Like, the fire guy creeped me out. <laughs> like, I'm sure there are people that are like, no, we love the guy. I can't even remember his name. He's like one of the top tier, like, demon slayers. And he's got, like, blonde hair with fiery tips. And he always has a creepy freaking smile on his face. I don't know why. I kind of did not like him, and then he died, and I was like, oh no, he's dead. <laughs> At least he doesn't have more screen time. Except for he does, because they give him flashbacks, where people are like, oh, we cared about him so much, and I'm like, I don't. Like, <laughs> Do you ever get that way with a show where you're just like, all right, enough of this character already, you've beat the dead horse, he is already dead. Let him die. Like, we don't need to reminisce in his memory. We don't need to see him on screen. He's gone. We get it. Goodbye. <laughs> like, my gosh. Okay, so let's just see. Let's do all of it. Let's do orange. And we're going to do all of it. And I'm going to see. <laughs> this is going to go horribly. I'm going to lose all of it. Oh my god! <laughs> I knew it too! I was like, alright, here we go. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. Alright, anyways, I guess we'll just uh, talk to Mayor Lewis and get things started. Or is it Pierre I have to talk to? Yes, look at my display. Be in awe of the pumpkin and the bass. Woo. Yep. There we go. Go look at stuff. I literally, I knew it. I was like, there's no way. We're gonna lose it, and that's fine. <laughs> oh, I didn't think of this. You guys have stuff too? Aw, that's awesome. Who the heck are you? Hello? Shooting Comic Cocktail. I sure could go for one of those right now. This festival is making me thirsty. All right, cool. I didn't even know you guys had stuff. Oh, that's so cool. Andy, why do you have cool mushroom things? Where where can I find those? Are those just... Are these actually new mushrooms? Hold on. Are those new or can I find them? Because, like, the purple one. But the red one up there is a different color. Oh, well, no, wait. They look different. They look different. Your grand display has been judged. Return to Mayor Lewis for the result. All right, cool. Hey, bruh. Congratulations! You won first place with a rating of 96. Oh, that's not that good. <laughs> your prize is 1,000 star tokens. Spend it wisely. Oh, and don't forget to clean out your grand display box. Spend it wisely, you say. I think you mean bet on orange. <laughs> yes. Ah! You know... Is it better to sell iridium quality eggs than to turn them into mayonnaise? Or should I just turn them into mayonnaise? I can't remember what I had looked up. You know, let me know in the next episode. I will have probably sold it by then, but like, or turned it into mayo by then. But at least we'll know. <laughs> okay, give me that, because I think that's for Jody later on, I think. Okay. Anyways, betting it all on orange. Let's go. Orange. All of it. Literally all of it. What you can't hear is my partner in the background like, no, no, no! Orange. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I was so close. <laughs> he's in the background. He's like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are too. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'll get it next year. <laughs> there will be a next year. There will be a next year. There's a next year. I promise. It's happening. <laughs> oh my god. I love shenanigans. They give me life. <laughs> I'm okay with this. All right. Eh, eh, eh. Keep that. Sell this, this, and that. Ah, life is good. Especially when I get to see my partner kind of just sigh in very, like, absolute defeat and nothing to shame. Like... <laughs> It's like, that's not why you get in relationships. You don't get in relationships for love and affection. You get in relationships so you can be a little shit. <laughs> my god. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, but yeah. Okay, so let's go over here. Now that that is done, woo I won. whoop de doodle do. Um, <laughs> I lost all of my star points. You know what? I'm going to do that every year. Actually, I don't even care if I have 2,000 points. I'm going to do that every single year. <laughs> hey, this is going to be great. Ah, I regret nothing. Life's good. Life's great. Fear me. No, where is it? Headed it? Oh, that's right. Okay. Oh my gosh. Hip. Hip. I should probably put more things in both of them. Oh my god! Hold on a second. Ah! No! Not the jam! Put the jam away! Get the blubberies! Blueberries. Yes, I call them blubberies. No, I have no shame. No, I don't care. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now everything's doing what it should. Except for this egg. My god. The drama. Okay. Then off to bed we go. There's a cat there. Going to sleep for the night. Yes. Ooh. We got a pretty penny from all that. Don't know what I was expecting. Oh yeah, because I sold all those crops. Duh. <gasps> Wait a minute. Did I just oof? My gold pickaxe is ready. Oh my god. Okay, it's animal bundle and artisan. Oh, thank god. I literally had a heart, a heart attack for a second. I'm like, no. Ooh! Probably won't be there in the next video. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this series so far or any other series you want me to play. And I will see you in the next video. Next video to the next video to the next video to the next video.